Hey, welcome to this MBA on introducing JSON uh, and C Sharp, or really kind of how to work with JSON using C Sharp. I'm Christopher Harrison. That's Benjamin Lin. Benjamin, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Benjamin Lin. I'm a program manager intern here at Microsoft. I work with hardware and software. I've some things I've worked on. I've made a Bluetooth PowerPoint ring controller, and I've made an automatic C Sharp code grader. I'm a student at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and outside of work and school, I am a ballroom dancer and I play the harmonica. All right. Uh, as for me, I'm Christopher Harrison. I'm a senior content developer here at uh, Microsoft, focused in on web, OSS, ASP.NET. I'm a longtime Microsoft certified trainer. Uh, I periodically blog, I periodically present at uh, conferences. I'm a marathoner, husband, and father of one four-legged child. So, uh, Benjamin, what are we gonna be talking about uh, in this course? Okay, so in this course, we have four main modules. The first is an introduction to JSON, what is JSON, why you should use it. The next module will be an uh, overview of the syntax and structure of JSON. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one will be how to parse and generate a JSON file. And lastly, we'll be making an application which uses JSON, a JSON file as data storage. Okay, and what do we expect the viewers to, uh, to have done in the past? What uh, prerequisites do we have? Uh, well, we expect them to know C Sharp at an intermediate level. We don't expect them to know any JSON because this is an introductory course at okay. JSON. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we suggest that they have Visual Studio 2015 Community installed because that is the IDE that we are working with. Okay, that, uh, that sounds perfect. So, um, so Benjamin, what's, what's JSON? What's JSON all about? Oh, well, what is JSON? Yeah. Uh, well, um, let's start with the first module, Introduction to JSON. Makes sense. So JSON is a lightweight data interchange format. It stands for JavaScript Object Notation. OK. So you use it to basically transfer data between different uh, formats. OK, so I, I can use this to, say, write data out to a file, be able to load that back up later. And I can also use this to send information from one uh, end to another. So for example, maybe if I'm creating a web application using JavaScript, that uh, I could go ahead and make a server call. I could send uh, data over to the server using JSON and uh, receive that back using JSON. Exactly. All right, perfect. So some other reasons why you should use JSON. Well, first, it's easy for humans to read and write. Mm -hmm. It's language independent, and although it uses the same syntax as JavaScript objects, it can be used with pretty much any language. Okay. And lastly, it can be used as a uh, application storage file. Okay. All right, that's perfect. Now, you know, one thing that I, I think is worth highlighting real quickly here is this has a lot of similarities to XML, that we can use XML uh, as well to send information back and forth, to write out to a file. And so some people might be wondering, okay, well, why would I use this over XML? And the main reason is that with XML, unfortunately, there's a lot of bloat to the file because of the fact that you have all of the opening and, and the closing tags that uh, uh, that go into it, XML can be very verbose, and a, uh, an identical XML file can be much larger than a JSON file. And when we're talking about sending information uh, over the web, especially with mobile devices, we really want to limit the amount of data that we're going to be sending back and forth, and JSON allows us to do that. Mm -hmm. So yep. we'll be using a couple tools in order to um, work with JSON. The first is... Uh, the JavaScript serializer class, which is built into .NET. Mm -hmm. And the next tool is the JSON.NET third-party library, which we can acquire through a NuGet package. So uh, let's see a sample, uh, a demo of what JSON looks like. Yeah, what does it look like? So this is a, a JSON file. So at first glance, you can easily pick out that there are a couple things. First, there are key value pairs, you know, name, address, courses. There are curly braces, which represent objects, and we'll get into that later. And there are also square brackets, which indicate arrays, which we'll also get into later. Now, even if you have no idea what JSON is, no knowledge of it, you can still kind of pick out information from this format, because it is easy to read. So in, in my Visual Studio project, you can tell that you know, there's a, the name of this this data is School of Fine Art. There's an address. It has a list of courses. And within each course, there's a subject, a teacher, and 
a list of students. So very easy to read, very easy to work with, and we'll show you how to work with that in the later modules. OK, perfect. So then I think that's basically what we wanted to cover here, just a little bit of an intro, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about why we want to use JSON. We took a look at a file, and there's a very good chance that if you're watching this, you might still be looking at that file and going, oh, I don't necessarily completely get that yet, don't worry, that's exactly what the next module is here for, to actually dig deeper into that JSON file. So let's go ahead, put a wrap on this, and then we'll see you in the next module where we'll dig deeper into that JSON file.